Hello, my name is Dr. Bridget Shen Li. This is iTube OD daily coverage at the Vision Expo East. I am joined by Dr. Walt Whitley. Dr. Whitley, you just gave a lecture on the uveitis topic. Please tell us about it. It was a fun lecture. It was called the basics of uveitis. And essentially what I spoke about was the condition itself because yes, we know uveitis is due to inflammation, but there are some other causes of it. 87% of the time, it's gonna be, it's gonna present in the anterior uveitis form. About 50% of the time, it's due to post-viral idiopathic causes. 25% of the time, it's gonna be due to, uh, 21 to 25% due to trauma, and the rest is due to some type of systemic uh, etiology. And so understanding how to, uh, uh, who is the patient? What are their symptoms? What, are, what is it about their medical history that can contribute to their condition? And if their condition isn't resolving, how do we go about uh, getting that information by ordering the blood work, doing the test, and following with the patient? Okay, has there been any update on the treatment for uveitis? Right now, the main treatment, as we know, is gonna be anti-inflammatories. Mm -hmm. The main go-to medication that we utilize, or I utilize, I learned from my uh, uveitis specialist, is Durazol and Diflopredate. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is it's actually indicated for endogenous anterior uveitis. We can dose it four times a day versus a pred forte, which would be every two hours. Mm -hmm. And as we know, the more dosing the patient has to do it, the less they're going to be compliant with, with it. And so we were involved with a head-to-head -head study comparing Durazol versus pred forte, and it was shown to be non-inferior and able to address the inflammation. And so if you're gonna treat the inflammation, hit it, hit it hard. Don't taper your medication until you get two grades improvement from grade four to grade two, two plus to about trace cells, mm -hmm. and there's zero tolerance for any anterior chamber cells. That sounds excellent. Thank you so much for sharing with us on uveitis, and thank you for coming today. Thank you.